It seems like life hacks are everywhere these days, little bits of advice or tips to make your life easier. Some of them started out being quite sensible and useful, but there's only so many good ones and now the internet is just flooded with absolutely terrible ones, life hacks that just do not make any sense at all. Do you want to see the worst of the worst? Well my name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 dumbest life hacks. Starting off at number 10 now, we have coffee egg. Here's a life hack that none of you have ever thought to do because it's a terrible idea. If you're ever in a hurry and you'd like an egg and a coffee in the morning, put the egg in the coffee. That's right, the egg will then become hard boiled and you've got breakfast and a lovely drink right there. Except not really. What you've actually got is a semi hard boiled egg covered in coffee and a coffee with bits of egg floating in it. That's no way to start your morning. That's no way to start anything except this video. Next up at number 9 now, we have minty fresh. No intro for this one, let's just get straight into it. If you're hosting a dinner party and don't have a lot of cash, make alternative after dinner mints. Simply freeze a tube of toothpaste, then cut it open and slice the contents into wafer thin pieces to produce your very own treat. They look cool and will also leave your guests with fresh breath. Lovely stuff. What better way to finish off a nice meal than eating some toothpaste? <laughs> Yum. Toothpaste isn't harmful if you swallow a little bit, but that doesn't mean you should just go out of your way to eat the stuff. Very obvious advice, but not obvious enough for some people, apparently. Alright, at number 8 now, we have popcorn. This one just annoys me. I've seen it everywhere. It's a life hack for people who can't find a bowl for their popcorn. They put the popcorn in their hoodie like this and turn it the other way around. Oh, nice. That's cool. That's gonna make life a lot easier, isn't it? Sitting there like an animal with a feeding bag just shoveling popcorn gone into your face. The man is sitting there in what looks like quite a nice place. He's got a nice couch, he's watching TV, he's managed to get a hold of a can of beer, but a small bowl for the popcorn? Impossible. No way. We need a life hack for that. No we don't. I think I'm starting to sound a little bit anti-fun, aren't I? I hope not. Next up at number 7 now, we have the bottle opener. There's a lot of life hacks that tell you crazy ways to open a bottle of something, but this has to be one of the dumbest. Life hack open a beer with your seatbelt while driving. Now there are a lot of times to practice beer opening life hacks while driving a car is not one of them. You're literally taking off a seatbelt that could save your life to open a beer with only one hand on the wheel and then push yourself that little bit further towards being over the alcohol limit. At number 6 now we have the mirror. A wing mirror is very important for driving. Without one it's quite hard to see things to the side of your car. This person knows how important it was to replace their broken mirror but not not properly. That is a CD. It's been fastened in place with a couple of elastic bands. This person thinks that CD will provide enough of a reflection so that you can just use it like a normal mirror. You definitely can't. The only way this is excusable is if they are literally on their way to get their mirror fixed. But I just don't think they are. Call me a pessimist. At number 5 now we have Denny's. Now this post was made by Denny's or it might be a parody, but anyway they suggested a life hack for students to try and stay awake while studying. Dip your contact lenses in coffee and then stick them in your eyes. Now, <laughs> I don't have a medical degree, I don't have contact lenses, I don't really know the effects of caffeine on an eyeball, but I do have a little bit of common sense and all of it is screaming don't shove coffee into your eyeballs. Yeah. I'm worried for Denny's if this is their way of trying to increase coffee sales. At number 4 now we have the cheese grater. Check out this life hack where somebody is showing off how they can use their Mac Pro computer to grate cheese. Let's crunch the numbers here. A cheese grater costs I don't know, a few dollars, whereas a Mac Pro probably costs a few thousand dollars. If you can afford a Mac Pro, you can probably afford a cheese grater. You can own both. I know it sounds crazy. I really hope this person knows that the Mac Pro can also be used as a computer, not just a cheese grater. I'm sure they do, right? They don't just think it's a massive cheese grater, do they? Alright, next up at number 3 now, we have the headlamp. This is a picture of someone's car that has had the headlamp broken. Fair enough if they can't afford a replacement, but you know, this isn't going to work. It's just not. Only one of them is even facing forward. I could be wrong though, maybe this is the way cars are going. This could be the next Tesla design. I'd look like a real idiot then. Moving on to number 2 now, we have free hot water. Some people don't like paying extra for hot water. Other people don't like waiting for water to get hot if everyone else in their house has used it all up. Well, this life hack can help all of you. Yes, that is a candle under a shower pipe. <laughs> Apparently this is going to produce hot water at a fraction of the price. I don't think it will though. 
I think you'll just end up with cold water coming out and a burnt pipe. If we have any plumbers watching this video, then correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. And finally, number one now, we are going back to popcorn with the smoke alarms. Smoke alarms are very important. Make sure you always check yours on a regular basis, or you could just stick some popcorn on the wall like this. Look. This is meant to be a life hack for people who can't be bothered to buy a smoke alarm. Presumably, the way it works is that when you hear the crackling and popping, the room is probably on fire and you should probably leave. Don't do this, guys. Please don't do this. Just get a smoke alarm. If you do this, you may just be found in the ruins of your destroyed house with burnt popcorn all over you. Sad way to go. <sighs> Long live life hacks, hey? Sometimes we have to sit through a lot of bad life hacks, but eventually we do find a good one from time to time. Is it worth it? That's for you guys to decide, I guess. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Danny Burke. Thank you as always for watching guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>